right, this is the reaction rates lab where we're going to react hydrochloric acid with calcium carbonate. Uh, we're going to vary the particle size, we're going to vary the concentration of the acid and see how that affects the reaction rate. Uh, calcium carbonate is just chalk, so I started with four pieces of chalk, all of equal size. Uh, two of the pieces of chalk I crushed into a fine powder, so in trial two and trial four, we're working with chalk that's been crushed into a powder, but it's still the same mass, still the same amount of chalk that we have um, in trials one and trial, and trial three. Um, <clears throat> the hydrochloric acid that we'll be using here, I've taken 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and then diluted it with 20 milliliters of water. So we have a total volume of 40 milliliters. Uh, same thing in trial two. In trials three and four, I just used 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. I didn't dilute it. So the amount of hydrochloric acid is the same in all four trials. The amount of chalk is the same in all four trials. Uh, we're going to just put these together. It'll be the same reaction, but we're just going to look at how fast the reaction takes place. So in the first trial, you can see the chalk reacting with the acid. We'll look at the second trial and compare how fast the reaction takes place in the second trial where the chalk has been crushed. We'll look at a third trial where we have more concentrated acid. And then the fourth trial where we have concentrated acid and crushed chalk. So you see the same reaction taking place in all four containers. Uh, in this first container where we had a large piece of chalk and a low concentration of acid, you can see bubbles forming. Uh, but they're forming relatively slowly. The overall size of the chalk hasn't really changed very much. Um, you can see in this second trial where we had crushed chalk, the chalk reacted a lot more quickly with the acid uh, due to the increased surface area. Um, you can see in this one that the bubbles are only forming along the surface of the chalk because it the hydrochloric acid is only coming in contact with the chalk on the outside surface. Uh, well, in this one, we crush the chalk and therefore increase the amount of surface area. So there's a lot more opportunities for the hydrochloric acid to get in contact with the chalk. Um, this one was a large piece of chalk, okay, so still low surface area like in the first. But here we have less water. We have a more concentrated acid. The total amount of acid was still the same, but I added less water. And so there's less water molecules um, interfering and um, we have more collisions between the hydrochloric acid and the chalk and you can see I think a uh, faster reaction here in beaker 3 than in beaker 1. And in beaker 4 we saw the fastest reaction because we had both the concentrated acid and we had the crushed chalk. And so in this lab you are able to see the effects of concentration and the effects of particle size or surface area on a reaction rate.